What's up guys and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat and we're here today playing Project Zomboid once again. So on the itinerary for this afternoon or this evening or whatever time of day you happen to be gracing the channel, we're going to go check out the police station. It's a location that I've never actually raided before. Taking a look around, you know that in the last episode we ended up in the last two episodes kind of making up for lost time. Unfortunately, we lost our shotgun when the game crashed while I was filming an episode, so we need to find ourselves a new shotgun. Additionally, Things to think about. I've piled up some wood here. This is about 20 wood that we have on hand, or 20 planks. I'm going to continue trying to build as much as I can over here. That's about enough for five more units. I was kind of thinking about actually making it go all the way back over here and connecting right here. So that the zombies would have to go all the way through this entire house to get into my farming area. And yet, I would still be able to have multiple ways to access my own territory. I'm also probably going to have a fence run all the way back from here, and then this entire strip will just be non-stop farming. We'll plaster it, we'll make it look all good, we'll figure out what we want to do there. But for the time being, let's go check out the police station. We're going to see if we can find ourselves a couple of new weapons. We've got ourselves a duffel bag, we've got a little bit of time, and we're ready to roll. So why not do it? Let's get out there and let's get this thing done. Now the location of the police station is a little far off. We are going to have to find our way back to the highway, which is over by the crepe shack. And you, you guys know the road. By this point, you know what road I'm talking about when I reference these things. We're going to have to go to the northwest until we hit the highway, and then from there, we're going to cut to the west, basically. The southwest, the west, whatever you want to call it. And that should take us right along flush with both a mini mall and a police station. Now, I am interested in both locations. I don't really know how long it's going to take us to get there during the course of this episode. But I'm very interested in figuring out what it has to offer us. I'm also interested in not attracting attention. So I'm going to try and be as quiet as I possibly can while we go along. And hopefully we'll arrive there without incident. Now, our warehouse right here, I am tempted to hit up this warehouse and see if possibly there's a shotgun in here, grab the shotgun, run it back to the house, and then we'll go on the police station escapades, because I know these locations always have nice stuff that I want, but I don't know. I'm just not sure if I feel up to the task right now. I guess we'll jump the fence and we'll take a look. If it's safe, we'll go ahead and give it a go, but if it's completely zonked out with zombies... I just really don't think we have the time to put in the effort to clear out that many guys, so... It's looking okay. We do have a sledgehammer at multiple locations, so possibly I'll grab a sledgehammer in the future. We'll come bust down these doors, see if there's anything in here that we want. For some reason, the blood was able to spatter on a chain link fence. It's pretty impressive when you can put solid spray on a porous object, but we seem to have managed. These buildings look like they've all been searched and raided. Zombies there. Horde right here. That's fun. Let me see if I can duck through, maybe. God. There's just so many, like, all the time now. Like, I don't even know how you would deal with that many zombies. You can't really use the shotgun on them, because if you use the shotgun, then they all just come running from the hills and dales and glens and all those fun names that people name people, like Dale and Glen. I got caught up there. Like, I guess the name makes sense, but I don't know if I would want to be named, like, a Glen. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. That wouldn't be my name of choice. But then again, none of us get to choose our names, and I'm pretty sure most of us aren't exactly fond of the one we're given, so I guess you just learn to live with it as time goes along. Here's the highway. And for the time being, maybe I'll pick off these stragglers just to make sure that there's no further incursions towards us, because I would like to have a clean slate as I try and sneak from location to location. See how many we can knock down here. Just kind of line them up and shoot them down as best as possible. Did that get both of them? Good. Alright, so both of them are dead. We got a newspaper there. I don't really care about that. We got beta blockers, which I will take. I do care about those. And then we'll grab that pen. We killed this guy up here, so we'll take a look at what he's got in his pockets. But nothing looking incredibly valuable. I don't know how far to the southwest we are right now, so I'll basically have to eyeball that as we go. There should be like a legal office. If I came up properly, if I'm where I think I am, it should be like a tattoo parlor slash legal office slash just any number of random goodies. Hopefully there's no horde or sizable grouping around here because that would be just absolutely abysmal. Although it looks like I'm not going to get quite as lucky as I would prefer. God. A baseball bat does not make that much noise. You gotta be kidding me. Sometimes I think the zombies in this game are really, really supernatural. 
Plus, at this point, the only place that they never seem to relocate from is all the areas I want to be. They all seem perfectly fine with relocating next to my house and also way out here in the middle of nowhere. Or, I'm sorry, they seem to be very good at relocating exactly where I'm deciding to sleep for the night. And then as a secondary location, they seem to pick all the places that I want to scavenge. I, I would prefer that it be a little less predictable. That would be one of those things that I would raise a question as like, it's very predictable that all the zombies seem to be clustered around what you want to scavenge out of. I prefer it to be kind of random, like sometimes you find a primo place to scavenge from, it's completely empty, and other times you find very minimal locations that totally suck, like there's nothing there, and they're completely socked sol- Oh, somebody set off a house alarm. Well that's gonna be fun. So I suppose what I'll do is let's fall- uh, not a lot of options here. I guess I'll follow the Zeds and we'll figure out where they're going. Looks like they're all heading towards the police station here, so with any luck... They should bust the place up for us so that I don't have to bother. Ooh, and they're gonna be coming from this direction too. Alrighty, I'll bear that in mind. So while these guys all choose to relocate, I think what I'll do is we'll start picking up some of the buildings that are off to the side, I guess. Not a whole lot of options there. I think that's the mini mall. It didn't look like a police station. At least it didn't look like any police station that I've ever seen. So we may have gotten lucky, and all of them may have been drawn off. Looks like we've got a school or something right here. Maybe. Where per oh, this is the police station. All right. So let's be very careful as we kind of work our way through here. The front door is open. Gonna stand back for just a second and make sure that no zombies actually end up swarming us. And then let's have a bit of a look around. So thus far, the mission seems to be going according to plan. Pens, papers, all kinds of random notary stuff that you would expect to be at a location like this. But what we're interested in is the armory. Oh, okay. Well, my fear is that if I kill this guy on the inside, we're going to draw the ones from the outside. Yep, there it is. I'm not really positive where the one that's tapping right now is at. I'm thinking possible jail cells back in here maybe? Well, I don't know. I just have no idea right now. I'm just not sure, guys. I have no idea where the zombie's at. I mean, it could be anything from a bathroom stall to just about anything being fair. Well, let's see what we can get down on while we're here. There doesn't appear to be anything in that locker over there. Cigarettes. Pistols. I'll take the pistol. Nine millimeter rounds, we'll take all of those. We'll just load them straight into the duffel. And we'll do our best to keep an eye on how much weight we're bearing with us. Ah, and a shotgun, so we'll take that as well. And 
And I think we'll be okay from that point on. I mean, I would like to take more rounds and armaments, but we have completed our mission, so I think we should probably get out of here before this gets too rowdy. I have no idea where the rest of the zombies are at. Looks like there's one tapping on a window over here. Let's go ahead and see if we can find ourselves shelter before it gets dark, because we've got about two hours of leeway, and I think if we cut inland, we should be all right. Although it appears as though the zombies all have that idea as well. They're like, listen guys, if we cut inland, we can find ourselves some super tasty humans. Right about the time that I'm saying that if I can cut inland, I can find myself some shelter. Let's get on up out of here. And I'm not super keen, no, I'm not keen on that idea at all. Let's not even tempt fate right there. I will, however, enjoy myself a bag of chips before we run much further into the melee swirling horde of bloody violence here. So our day one mission was actually pretty successful. We got ourselves some bullets, we got ourselves another pistol. And I'm actually going to cut straight through right here. And then hopefully if I start sneaking, we should be able to be okay. I don't know what this... I don't know what this building is right here, but it's considerably large. It might make for a good shelter if we can weasel our way into it. We don't have a sleeping bag or anything. I don't think any, I don't see anything that I can like sleep on in there. So, I guess we'll just keep on hoofing it for now. So, I guess what I want to do with the remainder of our day. We've got day 1 down right now, which is good. I mean, things went according to plan. They didn't go absolutely, you know, perfect. Once again, I get denied a lot in this game by the fact that we just can't carry as much as I'd like to carry. And so making multiple trips seems to be the rule of this game. Looks like I was able to weasel my way in here. Close that window down and then we'll check everything just to make sure it's safe. Some bleach, some bath towels. Okay, there's no zombies around so I think we should be able to sleep here in the chair for the night once we get a little sleepier. We're going to check everything for anything that might be useful though. Little mini fridge over here, maybe some orange soda or something of that nature. Nope. No such luck. So what we'll do is we'll load into the bathroom for the time being. Let me go ahead and we'll pass a bit of time until we get really sleepy. Once we're sleepy enough, I will sleep in that desk chair. And I don't think we're going to have any issues. There's lots of windows to kick out in case anything goes wrong. So if things go absolutely horribly, we'll bust out a window and we'll jump out the back. But we'll be okay. So let's sleep for our first day. we got a little bit of time left in the episode. We're about halfway through right now. But I'm kind of trying to think about what objectives I'd like to set myself to and honestly maybe we'll just continue working on the fence over there I don't really know how entertaining you guys find that to be but the fence is a pretty important thing if we can't start farming soon it's gonna get us into a lot of trouble I might also consider putting down roots actually literally putting in plants that will start growing now so that by the time we've got the entire farmland situation taken care of they're already starting to sprout and we can just feed ourselves off of those Let's check this house really quickly. I mean, there's a lot of this stuff on the edge of town that I've never actually taken the time to scavenge out of. And we don't have a lot of weight left, but we do have enough to where I think we might be able to get away with some of it. Canned soup, we'll take that. And that puts us at 8 out of 8, I think. Well, sort of. Suppose we'll throw that in there. Can't throw anything else really in there, so yeah, we're not going to be able to loot this location completely. But it's okay, we grabbed a little bit of extra something something, and I hate to return home without a nice little fistful of goodies. But it does happen on occasion. Now I want to go kind of to the northeast a tad. And it's interesting how there's no zombies around here actually. That's kind of making me a tad nervous, because that means they're centralized somewhere and they're just waiting for me to stumble into them. We have some spacious backyards here. Here in Knox County, it must either be really, really expensive to live here, or it must be really, really cheap. 
because this is just like expansive land like you just don't see this where I come from like everything is just like houses three inches from each other with backyards if you get lucky hey no sir none of that there we are it sounds like there's a zombie inside that bore witness to our horrid crime against zombie kind that's fine we pay him no mind there's no great appellate or supreme court of zombies that can convict us of zombie murder so haha -ha, zombies that is what you get maybe you should establish things like culture and then you could lock me down you could leave me in god you could get me lost in your penal system forever ah there they are hello zombies I figured you were around here somewhere. This looks like a really nice neighborhood. They got like trees that are nice and spaced. Looks like they've probably hired a landscaper. If we could find our home, I'd feel a lot more comfortable. I'm pretty sure I know where I am if I cut like this way. Kind of to the northeast of Tad. Yeah, that's about what I assumed. Oh, there's our house. Okay, so let's make sure we didn't bring anything back with us first and foremost. Just kind of stand here for a moment and make sure that we have absolutely no straggly bits. It doesn't look like we do, though. So let's jump inside. We'll grab some of the things we need to construct. We'll get the fence going a little bit more. I'll probably chop some more wood while there's no zombies around. Always a good thing to put yourself to the task of. And with our little run there to the police station, I guess we'll run back out there in the future at some point, see if we can grab a bit more combative items. But for the time being, we've got another shotgun to replace the one we lost. We've got another pistol. So we've got 80 rounds. That's not really going to be absolutely as much as it's going to take for us to kill everything. It's definitely not going to be sufficient. But it's enough to where if we have to make just a ridiculous last stand, we can actually do that. The firearms do lose durability, so a lot of people don't think about that fact. You do want to have multiple copies or you want to have multiple firearms if and when you decide to start accumulating them. Throw the rest of our food in here that we've gotten as we've been running around we got a little bit of food a little bit of firearms I wanted to come back with more than 30 bullets but considering how many shotgun shells we have it's probably okay let me eat that chocolate bar really quickly and then let me make sure that we have the hammer so let me equip the hammer as a primary I'll throw the baseball in here it's like a temporary half measure for now we've got beta blockers they need to go in this cabinet always keep I, I know it's kind of interesting we have like our cabinet over here with like dangerous construction items and then our antidepressants next to it well don't worry about it it'll be fine there's no children in this house everything will work out great we also need some nails so let me find some of them we'll grab all of those nails if we can great and so let's head back and get some walls going I turned off the music there for just a moment because I thought I heard the sound of horrid little zombie feet. Just little, just little pitter-patter of just zombie D-bags running around everywhere. Luckily that wasn't the case. Picking up the planks takes a little while. That's another thing. Like, building in this game is just really, really time-consuming because the UI, for whatever reason, forces it to be. I wish that it wasn't that way, but unfortunately it is, so it makes the whole thing just really kind of painful. I wish that it was a bit more Minecrafty. Meaning it was it had a bit more of a handle to it where you could just go straight at the construction system But you know beggars can't be choosers. So let's put in a wall there Put in another one right there And a third one right there And I think this is gonna work out pretty nice. I I like the situation that we're in it's It's workable and that's always the most important thing, like, can you make it work? If you're struggling with something that you just don't feel yourself making any headway, that's usually a pretty good time to start thinking about the cost effectiveness. It's time to start thinking about the effort. If you really start wondering if you can actually make it work, I'm not saying to bail out early, but you got to take a realistic look at projects like these and be like, all right, so is this going to work out or am I just banging my head against a wall? There we are. So that's our little contribution to the fence for the time being. I didn't bring a saw out with me. Oh, it's taking us multiple nails to put down each one, too. So we are going to have to make another nail run, unfortunately. I didn't leave the saw outside. What's weighing me down right now? Oh, two more planks. Let me drop those on the ground really quickly. There we go. So the planks are down. Let's go get the saw, and we'll chop up the rest of those logs. 
get them all ready for market. And we're undertaking a very sizable, a very, very sizable project here. Actually getting this entire thing fenced off would be such a major survival thing that we wouldn't really have to leave our house anymore after we got the whole thing taken care of. So we've got the saw now. Let's go ahead and pick up as many logs as possible. And if you're having trouble getting things on the ground to show up, click on this again. Sometimes when you walk over the top of them, it's just kind of being obtuse. So we'll grab all of the logs, and then we're going to chop all these up as best as we can into planks. And then, so that's 12 planks right there. We'll dump them over here. Luckily, we don't like instantly cripple ourselves by picking things up. It's if you pick things up and move. So if you're carrying 41 out of 8 units of weight, definitely don't move. Like, I would be terrified to take a step right now. If zombies showed up, we would pretty much be... It would be a forfeiture of our game. Luckily, there's nothing in the neighborhood. We've scouted everything, and so there's no real big issues with us doing this whole thing. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to drop these on the ground. And there they are. And so we'll grab the rest of these logs here. And once we've got everything made into planks, I don't think we're going to be able to connect it to right here in this episode. In fact, that's more than likely something that I'll try and do off camera. Make the whole thing kind of nice and purdy before we do anything else. We're going to have to chop down some of this grass. We're going to have to start getting going with our hoe. Just getting all kinds of busy work done, but... Luckily, there's not an absurd amount of things to do, so I think we'll be alright. Looks like that's as many planks as it's going to allow me to occupy the space with. And I think if we can get all these chopped up, that's going to leave me with... God, not enough. Not enough logs. But every time we chop these up, we're getting 12 more, so... 9 more sections of wall, possibly, if we get this entire thing picked up and moved around. I think that's not a bad thing to have accomplished during the course of this episode. I mean, we got our primary mission done, so at this point it's more or less just filler. So my warning to you would be if you're not interested in watching me saw logs for the rest of the day, this is probably where you should take off on the episode. I mean, I've got like eight minutes left, so I'm going to keep on filming and I'm going to do it, but, you know, is what it is. I don't even think we have enough nails for the time being to actually complete the construction here. I think it's taking us a pretty good grip of nails every time we do something like this, so... There's another big old pile of boards. And I think that's about all we're going to get done there. So let's drop the saw on the ground. There it is. We'll equip our hammer. Oh, it's already equipped. And then we'll pick up, I guess, oh, I dropped my sweater. How indecent of me. Pick that up and put it back on. There we are. And the bonus to all this is that we are getting XP. So it's not like a huge deal. Every time we use carpentry, if we go to the skill list here while it's picking up and looting everything... We are getting a bunch of skill points into carpentry. I don't really know how that helps us. I mean, it doesn't make us able to carry more loot. I wish it did. If we actually got stronger during the course of this whole thing, I'd feel very, very happy because then carrying things around would not be so miserable. Moving things long distance, not even really an option in this game. We've got half the boards now, so let's go ahead and I'm going to get on this side. And then what we'll do is we'll close that down. We can make two more links of wall. So we'll make a wall right there and then another one right here. And that's just how we're going to proceed. So, yeah, we're using up a lot of nails each time. We're using up three nails. So I think we're only going to get two more sections out of this, possibly. God, I, I swear I can hear zombies right now. And I actually think it's just part of the soundtrack. Like, I don't think it's actually me, but we'll grab one more plank. And once we have that... We'll get up and out of here. So let's do two more walls. And I think we'll be good after that point. At least for today's labors. I would love to create like a network of fences connecting these houses so that I have runoff zones. That's another thing, is if I need to ditch zombies, I can go through this house, lose them there, and come out this window and go into my own house. I'm just building myself options here, which I like. I'm never one to walk away from ancillary or tertiary or secondary options that can keep us from getting ourselves completely and totally immersed in zombie carnage. So let's grab the axe and we'll chop down the remainder of these trees, I guess. So we'll equip that as a primary. We'll drop the hammer as soon as we've got the axe up in our hands. All right. 
And then the hammer's there on the ground. The hammer's very small, so I'm gonna have to remember that I dropped that right there. Get rid of that tree. All right. And I don't know if we're gonna have enough wood to actually complete our construction project, but Actually, I think we will. We've got a pretty good amount here. I'm a little worried about noise right now. That's really what I'm concerned about is making too much noise, but I think we'll be all right. There we go, and that's a big old wood pile. Now what I'm thinking we're gonna do is maybe we'll take the fence from here and connect it to our house. We'll take this fence and connect it to here. And then once that's done, we pretty much have free reign of this entire backyard. I don't know if I wanna attach a fence right here possibly, or maybe just cut it a little tighter and go up to there and not risk it, maybe put a back door in right here. Not really sure right now, but our little homestead is gonna be pretty well defensible by the time we get done. How's our axe looking? As soon as I chop down a few more trees, I'm gonna check the axe and make sure everything's looking okay. The axe I don't think loses durability from chopping trees, so something to bear in mind. I can keep like a plus 10 durability axe just kind of sitting around. Well, that tree seems to be evading me. Tree? It's an elusive tree, it's a slippery tree, but we will get him at some point. We've got a nice wood pile going. I think this is where I'm going to break off the episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Let me know if there's anything in particular you want me to apply myself to. As of right now, we're in a really good situation, though, so I don't really feel like we're going to have too many problems from here on out. We may run out of food pretty soon, but beyond that, I think everything is coming into place. We're going to put our little farmstead in here in the next episode, maybe. And I think everything's going to look mighty fine. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care out there, everybody.